Hey guys, John here. And you girls out there too. Now, I used to teach school. I left Disney, I became a ride inspector. And then after I retired, I wrote a couple of books, fiction books. And I taught an apprenticeship program at one of the local schools. And I'm not gonna mention their names, but um, they told me that I couldn't teach math for two years or for one year because they were afraid half the kids would drop out because they couldn't get the math. And I thought, well, how do you teach electricity without teaching math? And, and if you teach it simple enough and baby steps, it's a lot easier to get. So I decided um, here recently to add to my collection of videos. This will be video one. It's on the National Electric Code. It's on how to learn electricity. Now, if you're in maintenance and you just want to know a little bit about electricity, this is the place to do it. So, or if you are just starting out and want to know if you have a uh, uh, feeling for electricity, if you have a knack to learn electricity, uh, which you know, just about anybody can learn it. I don't think there's, I mean, if I can learn it, anybody can learn it. So anyway, um, this will be the first video, video one. Everybody needs to get an ugly. Now you can get this ugly at the Home Depot. It's a electrical reference. It's, um, not very expensive, I think 15 bucks or something like that. At least it used to be. Now this is a 2017, so it's a little old. I'm sure they have newer copies. Uh, we're gonna first learn this symbol first and how to calculate it and how to make it work. And it basically is E over IR. E is electricity in volts. I is current and R is resistance. Pretty simple. And they, they throw in P also for power in watts. So those four calculations is what we're going to learn. You're going to learn them right here in the next video. So go to the depot, buy yourself an ugly, and look for my uh, number two video. It'll go into how to use E over IR and how to dial in P with it in power and watts. And we'll just start from there and we can go through. Um, my electrical code book is indexed. It's a, it's a spiral binder so I can open it up flat. But it's over in storage because I haven't used it in a couple of years. So I've got to go get that. and. Uh, I've got my ugly, so we'll start with the ugly and then we'll go from there. Um, one guy, when I was teaching, one guy came to me and he says, John, you explain things so well that I finally got, I understand what a panel is, where the power is, how to troubleshoot it. He said, I, I learned that in about 15 minutes when you were helping me one day. So. Maybe I can help a few of you guys that are looking at electricity like there's a big wall that you have to conquer. And it isn't, believe me, if I could do it, anybody could do it. So, go to the depot, get an ugly, get a copy of the National Electric Code because we're gonna need it eventually. You don't need it right away, but we're gonna need it, uh, let's say, two or three videos, or three or four videos down the road. So, get ready, here we come, thanks.